welcome to day 25 of our January challenge and day five of our Cumbrian music section and we're moving on to the second piece in the set today which is the Elter Water Hornpipe and so this moves straight into this without any pause or gap from the previous um, work which was the Stibaro Crag Hornpipe. So let's go straight in today we're doing these first four bars with the upbeat some similar elements to um, how we started the Stibaro Craig hornpipe um, but we just need to fit that through together so the left hand is going to start down on G with a finger four right near the bottom of your harp D with finger two so we're a whole octave lower than middle C and then we're not gonna have our thumb on anything just yet okay the reason for doing four and two here rather than three and one is so that we can then we're already working on moving our hand up to where we need to place next. If you do it three and one, your hand's very firmly down there and then you've got to physically jump it up. If you do four and two, then having played the four, you're already pulling your hand up. And as you play that two, again, your hand is moving this way automatically. So we do the four and the two, and then we jump on to, now it's not quite four in a row like it was in Stibarrow. This time it's G, A, B, so three in a row, but four, three, two, finger wise. Miss one out, which is the C, and thumb on the D. But the same very quick run, almost like grace notes leading to that D. Okay, so we have the G, D, running up to that D. Okay, then that whole pattern moves up one. So now it's A to E, instead of G to D down there, we've moved up one string and up one here. Then it goes back down one like the beginning. Okay, and then our fourth bar is D to A. So it's much higher than we have been, D, A, and that same A going up to the E. So A, B, C, miss one out, and going up to the E there, okay? So if we put that together, there's going to be a timing element to get used to here as well because the first note is actually a dotted crotchet or a dotted quarter note. So timing wise, if I count it, uh, three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and. It'll feel a bit more easy when we put that with the top hand I hope. So we've got this rhythm in the bass hand is not quite doof 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 on the actual beats. We've got a slight bit of syncopation, a bit of offbeat rhythm which is really nice. Let's look at the top hand then. Three in a row, B, C, D. And before you play the D, open it out to a triad. So finger two on the B, third finger on the G. And then stay in that triad shape and we go down, get back on to go back up down, back up, but then we're going to reach for the E instead of the D. Okay, so just going from the beginning there, the B, C, D, two and three and. Okay, and then your thumb, if you reach to the E, it's ready for the next bar. Open out the triad from there, E, C, A, all the way back on. And then before you play that final E, cross under with the F, finger two thumb goes onto the G and then put the finger two on the E and then we'll cross over to our thumb back on the D which is back like the first bar okay so let's just try try our first three bars plus a bit because that third bar is the same as the first so from the beginning of this page B C D one and two and three and point we've played the last two quavers there the last two eighth notes there G to B now we're going to cross although we're heading up to the finger two we're now going to cross over with our thumb to the A and then open up a triad back from the 
the A and cross under with finger three to the B. And it's B, C and reach up for the E. And I'm just sliding that last note there because that's what's going to happen going into tomorrow. We're sliding onto the D. So you as well to practice it at the end there. Okay, so let's try, we'll try it from the top of the page, just this right hand. One and two and three and reach up, cross under, cross over, cross over again and under, slide. So our next note's going to be that D. Okay, well done. Let's try that with the left hand. Remember the left hand was G to D. And then starting on the G here, so an octave above where you started, run up, missing out the C up to the D. So G, A, B, D. And we're really aiming for that D. And then that moves up one, back down one, and then we finish on D, A, and then A, B, C, miss one out to the E. Okay, we'll try that, put that together. Same steady speed for now. One and two and three and. Okay, and it's just watching the placing of that finger two in the left hand. So if I just count with it, one and two and three and four and 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 okay and we'll just try that up to speed a bit more or closer to the speed or and you may not you may join in you may just want to have a listen so one two three 